benefits of public rights of way and access to green sites and getting outdoors are many. It's good for your health and well-being, but it's also good for the local economy, for tourism, for active travel and to get people closer to nature. Being able to get out into the countryside, fresh air, listening to the birds singing, it just makes you feel glad to be alive. Being outdoors, up the top of a mountain, walking past waterways, I just find it to be incredibly relaxing. Every time you do it, you feel fantastic afterwards. People of Wales want to showcase more of Wales. They want people to realise how much of an amazing country this is to come and visit and how many gems there are throughout the country that are often sort of overlooked and people are not visiting. And we're missing out on a lot of sort of economic prosperity for communities, I think, in that. Ninety percent of you have found some sort of problem with the path network. In the upper on there we got lots and lots of paths, but very, very few were signposted. A lot of people don't walk in the area simply because they don't know where the paths lead to, they think it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Overgrown vegetation, broken stiles or broken signage, locked gates and sometimes barbed wire covering certain areas. People need to walk and there should be a lot more paths because the record there's not many paths. There's a lot of issues with the rights of way in Paris. There's over 9,000 kilometres of rights of way. Only 30% are in a satisfactory condition. And there's at least 10,000 reports from members of the public which are waiting to be attended to. That is a huge job to take on. But there is scope to do a lot better than we do at the moment. Working in partnership is an important solution to improving our path network because paths can only be sustainable if they're used locally. They are a very important local resource. Here in Monmouthshire we've worked with local rambler groups and this is an example here of part of the geology trail in the Baddock community where local volunteers and staff from the ramblers were trained to install kissing gates. I've been working side by side with Ramblers Cymru on the Paths to Wellbeing project and it's gone really well. You know, people can have that safe feeling that they know where they go in, they know there's a bench there to sit down if they're feeling tired. It's given the, the community that confidence that they can access the outdoors more. I think what the Paths to Wellbeing project's shown us and, and sort of taught us as a charity is that communities really want to have um, someone to work with and some to develop sort of outdoor experience with. We've reached more people with the Paths to Wellbeing project than we ever have. We've had school groups, we've had brownies, community councils, college students, some corporate groups, um, a homelessness charity has been involved, several mental health support groups have come out and the list really does go on and it just demonstrates that the outdoors is for everyone. And we've been working with the primary school uh, to plant all of these lovely trees behind us. They give us oxygen, they're good for the environment, uh, they have fruit, most of them, and they can help the animals. And then we've also opened up a circular route around the village, made it fully accessible. So young children, dogs, anyone with mobility issues can just happily go around this loop. The project's been amazing for us. Um, we're in the development stages of the campsite um, and the caravan park and the cafe itself. People are booking in with us because of the footpaths. So our business is just growing from strength to strength. And we get loads more people on foot here, going for a leisurely walk, and that's boosted the cafe tremendously. There aren't many other places in the world where one can walk the entire coast path of your country. It's a shining example of what can be done uh, with walking routes when there's a sort of collective enthusiasm to get something done. Politicians were of great help, ramblers did a lot of the groundwork and it's now of a huge benefit to Wales for physical health and, and well-being. It's just such a success story. When we take people on a walking groups and somebody says to me, I've lived here all my life, but I've never seen this view, you know, that is really something special. Everyone can benefit from being outdoors, and I very much hope that I can contribute to more people being able to enjoy these wonderful surroundings that we have, that we're so lucky to have here in Wales.